Well, certainly good news today uh, for Parma, uh, for Moraine, uh, and for Toledo. Um, 450 new jobs, uh, that certainly is very, very good news. Uh, as far as Lordstown, uh, this is probably not yet uh, the day to, to celebrate. Uh, this is a day where we may be moving forward. Uh, we're certainly not going to sit around uh, and not try to make things happen. So we're going to meet with some members of the uh, Chamber of Commerce who are happen to be in town today. Um, we were looking to put together a, a trip uh, to see the post office. Uh, and talk to the folks who uh, we should be talking to and uh, bring, bring people from Lordstown and from Mahoney Valley uh, at the same time. So uh, to workhorse. So again, it's, uh, you know, th that's where we are at this point. Uh, John, you've had the opportunity to be at workhorse, I know, and take a look. So. Yeah, I had the opportunity to be at their facility on a number of occasions. It's a promising Ohio company that uh, is leading in electric vehicle technology. They're converting uh, products right now for companies like UPS. Uh, they're a very viable company, and they're a, a company that has a potential for a great future. Uh, a lot of things, as the governor said, need to happen uh, between now and, and uh, uh, a bunch of new people in uh, the Lordstown area drawing W-2s as new, new jobs uh, working for a new company uh, in the area. But we will be as aggressive as we can be at making sure that we play our role in smoothing the path uh, for this new company and for the jobs it has potential to create. Any questions? When I talked to the mayor of uh, Lordstown this morning, and we were talking about the president's tweet, and he just he said, this is not done. It looks good, but we're still a long ways away. It sounds like that's the I think that's a great, I think that's spot on. Uh, I think the mayor has it has it right, as he usually does, and uh, I think that's correct. Um, this is a step, um, but it's we have a long way to go, and some things have to fall in place, and things have to have to actually happen. Uh, we're going to do everything we can uh, to assist those in happening. Is it months down the road if something comes to fruition? Well, you, you first have to you know, have the uh, negotiations between um, GM and UAW, and so I don't you know, I don't know the timetable on that. Um, at the same time, though, you're, you're kind of going on dual tracks. At the same time, um, you know, we need to be pushing uh, the post office on this and making making our case. Oh. When does Jobs Ohio learn about this? I'm sorry? Where, where does Jobs Ohio, what's going on with that? Well, Jobs Ohio is there to be of assistance. Uh, you know, however we can be of assistance to make this happen. Um, you know. We, we are reaching out to, to workhorse uh, and, you know, to see what we can do to be of, be of assistance. But ultimately, the, the, you know, this postal contract is a key, maybe the key. Can you give us an idea how long this company has been on the state's radar screen, how long talks have been going on? Well, I, I don't believe there's been specific talks about this deal. Um, Jobs Ohio has, in, in and the Lieutenant Governor has visited them. Uh, Jobs Ohio has been involved with them in other deals, other situations, uh, but to my knowledge has not been involved specifically in regard to this deal with, with Lordstown or a potential deal with, with your, Lordstown. So, Governor, was the President pre premature here? Well, I don't know. I mean, you know, the president's, I don't know if it's premature or not. I, I think, look, you know, I think he was announcing what the situation was at this point. And that's great. Uh, but now we have to go make things actually get done. And, and, and you know, look, I'm, I'm, try, I'm trying to be uh, realistic. And, uh, you know, if, if look, if, if, if the things are not in place for this to happen, uh, you know, this would be very cruel for the workers and for the people um, in Lordstown, Mahoney Valley. So I, I, I'm assuming uh, that General Motors, uh, you know, uh, believes that this can actually work. 
uh, and can work for the people in, in, in Lordstown. Um, so we have to now become involved and do whatever we can to, to assist. But I think, you know, it does, it's two, two, it's two steps. One's UAW, and then assuming that they're okay with this, then the next step clearly is, is the, this contract. Um, without the contract, you know, I don't think anyone could project a very quick increase in the number of employees. And what General Motors told me this morning was in the hundreds now or when they got started. That's, that's the, the, the quote from General Motors. Who's behind this first step? Would you say it's the president or the people here in Ohio? Well, I'm not going to get, you know, I can't scratch the surface there. I'm not going to, I'm not going to do that. I mean, look, I mean, this is, this is something uh, that obviously uh, has been negotiations going on with Workhorse and General Motors. I mean, that, that we can that we can figure, um, so they have been certainly certainly is is, is talking been talking. The, the lieutenant governor referred to workforce as viable. Uh, this company had three hundred sixty four thousand dollars in sales uh, for the first quarter. Look, Do you know if they have the credit lines or other? Look, I I I, I, I actually buy this plant. Look, the answer is I don't know those. I have no way of knowing those things, but. Uh, I can surmise <laughs> uh, that if the, there is a contract with the U.S. Postal Service, um, there'll be investors. <laughs> there'll be money there. Um, I'm not saying they don't already have the money lined up. I just don't know that. But if there's a contract, there should not be any problem with getting the money to, uh, to have the investment to take place. Randy, Tesla hasn't made any money either. <laughs> These electric car companies are sure. Yeah, yeah. It's a matter of capital. That's absolutely right. And what, you know, if they get the contract, they're going to have the capital. You talk about the importance of this contract with the U.S. Postal Service multiple times. What's the status of that? Do you know what the timeline is? How likely is it? Work? No, I mean, if you, if you if, look, if you do what we all do and you, you go up online, uh, you know, it's, it, there's a number of companies that are, that are in there running for this. Um, but I can't, you know, tell you exactly what the timeline is. But I think it's important uh, for us in Ohio to make our best case. Um, and as a governor, I intend to be part of that. Uh, the folks in Lordstown as well, and the mayor and others, Chamber of Commerce, UAW, uh, when that is an appropriate time. And so we'll, we'll be ready to do that and to, and to make our case. I mean, look, look these, we have great workers. Uh, we have a very, very good facility. Uh, work ethic could not be better in Ohio. This is going to be a great place. Um, and we'll be able to manufacture these in Ohio and produce a good product. Governor, how did uh, Mary Barrow characterize this field of the How did she characterize it? Um, she said, she told me about Parma and Moraine, Moraine and Toledo. 450 jobs. Uh, she told me that they had uh, been discussions going on. Um, that I asked her how many jobs are we talking about, and she said in the hundreds. Uh, without, without the postal contract, with the postal contract, uh, could be significantly higher. Is it sale price or any details? Nope. Oh. No, 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 no further detail. I'm looking at my notes to see if there's anything else. I mean, she indicated that, uh, you know, we had to go through the process with UAW. Uh, I said, when will that occur? She says, well, it could occur anytime, she says, but normally it would occur in, around September. Um, you know, I asked how long, uh, assuming that happened, how long it would take to make the transition. Uh, she said she didn't really know. Could be a year, but she didn't really know. Yeah. I mean, the actual trans transition of getting the facility ready. Uh, the postal service contract does not go through. What happens then? Well, I, I, again, I think it's, you know, for this to create significant jobs in 
the Mahoney Valley in Lordstown within a relatively short period of time. Um, you know, the contract, you have to have the contract. That's Well, I, I, I'm not going to take any odds on it. I mean, look, we're, we think we have we make a very, very good case. Uh, it certainly is going to have, you know, the full force of this administration, uh, the force, full force of Jobs Ohio, uh, people in, in in the valley. So, yeah, we're going to make our, our, our best case. Uh, we think it's a great place to do business. We think we know it's a great place to do business. We think we have great workers. Uh, so, you know, we think we'll have a very good case to make, but. There's cer certainly, uh, I would not be honest if I said there's any, any guarantees about this. You were talking about lobbying the uh, Postal Service officials for this contract. Uh, making, so, making our case. I'm not sure lobbying is what we want to do. But. You know that has to be competitively bid. Well, you know, I, I don't know where they are in the process. I don't know exactly where they, I couldn't. We could not tell very quickly exactly how far along in the process. If you look at the at the stories that have been written, uh, there's you know they've named several different companies, some foreign companies, a company from as well as a company from Indiana. Well, Governor, would you be holding this press conference today if not for the president's tweet? Well. The president's tweet certainly kicked everything off today, didn't it? So, <laughs> it's what you can do when you're the president. Would you prefer to wait a little longer before he has asked? No, I, I, no. I mean, look. I mean, when when the CEO of General Motors places a call to the president of the United States, no one can expect that this is not going to <laughs> trying to be out in the news very quickly. I, I, I think I think I, you know I kind of jokingly said this morning to our team. I said, "Well, I'm sure the president will be tweeting that out very quickly because uh, we knew about the call. We knew the call was going to take place." I said, "Well, this will happen very quickly." So. Do you think the president has a role in this, these negotiations going forward, especially with the post office? Well, I would I would certainly hope that the, you know that the president would uh, would weigh in and in, uh, in regard to the post office. I, I just, I mean, literally, I, I think my first visit to Workhorse was, I, can't, I don't want really, to, I mean, it was a long time ago. So this, this company has been, has been trying to be a leader in this technology over a long period of time. And, and, and look, there's nobody at this point in time who's making money in this space in the industry. That's why the governor's emphasis on, on having a sustainable customer through the U.S. Postal Service is such a big deal for the sustainability of any long-term production in Lordstown. So, but, but this is an Ohio company, which is doubly good news in this. This is a Cincinnati company that may have a major operation in Lordstown, which is, would be a great news story for everybody, for Cincinnati, for Lordstown, for all of us in, in this room. But the governor rightly pointed out that there are a lot of things that have to happen before we actually call it a victory. And I, I know several of the people involved in the company over the years, they've given me a number of briefings on the advancement of their technologies, how the technologies they have enabled these, the retrofitted vehicles that they're doing for UPS and such are expanding in terms of their, their um, capacity, in terms of the, the number of miles they can drive on one charge, the, the time that it takes to recharge the, 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 uh, the trucks and so forth. So it, it's, I've watched this company over the years advance its technology and and I know that they are among the leaders in, in this space in uh, the electric vehicle marketplace. So that's when I say it's viable, that's what I mean. And, it, and my point that I was trying to make earlier is that 
you know, even some of the companies that we know well, Tesla and others, have, have had a hard time making it in a market-based system. But if you have a reliable customer like the U.S. Postal Service, that changes the equation dramatically on whether or not this project is viable. Okay. Anything else? Thank you all.